Shine now. Well, there's that. Yes, sir. A lot of them, a lot of them that time. Good work on the light, George. You're steady as a rock. Three. Mallards, mostly greenheads. Seen the game wardens out? Yeah, I saw a hundred of them. They never saw me. <laughs> How's the railroad guy? Mean and lean. Pays regular. Thank you, Tom. What's the plan? Save back three clackers. We can grill them. Do something different. Surprise your mom. Good. That'll make her happy. Can't box on dead legs, you know. You gonna make you wait? Huh? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Actually, it'd be good if you came in a little over. That's the way you win. We can't do that. They don't let you do that anymore. I'm uh, going outside with Claude for a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, don't fuck around, okay? I'm not gonna be here all day. I won't. Come. Huh? What is it? Sherman's got a woman with him out at the motel. He just here for a <laughs> He deadheaded her from Haver last night. Only now, he's going Saturday. So who does he call? <laughs> His son. I'm gonna get him out of it. It ought to be funny. I guess you don't want to see it, though, huh? I'll see it. <laughs> I'd like to take a look at that. Sherman forgets where you have it. Rocket fuel. Well, come on, man. Fire your missile. Conscience is no conscience. <laughs> uh, you 
two are drunk as monkeys. No, we're not drunk at all. I gotta get home right now. Hazel thinks I'm still in Haver. Maybe you are. Maybe we're all in Haver. What's her name? Lucy. She's a nice girl. She's Canadian. Well, that'll be why she likes you. Maybe she'll like me. I'm bringing her out here. She gonna be my present from you? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm taking her out of here. He's telling me he's gonna meet her someplace later, but he ain't. I'm just getting rid of her. Maybe I'll kill her. That's what Indians are supposed to do, isn't he? And what else is available? All right, now. Here's some shut up money. So shut up. Okay, now, this is Lucy. This is Claude. He's my son and his close friend, George. I'll be back in an hour or two. Let her in, Claude. She don't want to go with us. Yes, she does. I'm not getting in that back seat. There isn't a seat back there. Let her in front. There's room. Go on. Watch out. Hello. Hello. Don't give me any fucking trouble. I'll break you up. I'm hungry. Spend some of that money on me. Be a big shot. I don't give a shit if you're hungry. something you got a new accomplice we're just going for a ride down to great falls you're not you're coming home with me we've got some ducks to clean come on okay we'll miss you george you don't know what i'm saving you from son yes he does with Claude. You in some trouble? Nothing Claude can't handle. Well, boy, Georgie. You know, your mother once said something to me I've never forgot. She said, nobody dies of a broken heart. This was somewhat before you were born. We were living down in Casper still then. We had some big blow up. That was the idea she had. I don't know why. I don't know why I even thought of it. Here, have a drink, son. Something ought to be good in life. What do you worry about, George? You worry about girls? <laughs> you worry about your future sex life? Is that some of it? I don't worry about that. No? 
Well, what then? What else is there? I worry if you're gonna die before I do. Or if mother is. That worries me. That's all. If I were you, I'd worry we might not. <laughs> Things pass too fast in your life, George. Don't worry about that. Let's go home and back. Well, yeah, there's a car, isn't it? What's your name? Woody. Woody? Where's Aileen? I mean, where's Mrs. Russell, Woody? Guess you're not robbing my house now, are you? No. Upstairs. I think she went upstairs. Good. That's a good place. Georgie? Step outside with Woody and wait on me, all right? Just stay there and I'll come out. Let's just go outside. Hmm? Let's go outside. All right. I like it out here. Nothing to bother you. The Great Plains commence here. You play football? No. I have been drinking. But I'm not drunk now. Well, that's a real joke. Find your goddamn suitcase. Just find it. Did you know your mother was married before? Yeah, I knew that. Happens to all of them now. They can't wait to get divorced. I guess so. What do you do for a living? I'm in the Air Force. Is your day off then? No. What's the matter with you? Don't you understand something? Hmm? I don't know what to do about you. I don't have any idea. You're crazy, aren't you? Are you goddamn crazy, man? Are you? Are you in love with her? Are you? He's not in love with me, for Christ's sake. Come on, say you love her so I can blow your fucking brains in the sky. All right. No. Jack, let's stop now. Let's just stop. You're leaving. That's why you're packed. Now go on, get out. You're not making me leave. I'm just leaving. George has to be at work in the morning. I'd like to find some way to hurt you. I feel helpless about it. Where are you from? Chicago. A suburb of there. Your parents alive? I bet they both wish you were dead, though. Somebody else is going to have to kill you, because I don't want to have to think about you. Guess that's it. The 
this all seem stupid to you, all this yelling, going nuts? I don't blame you. I don't know what to do now. It'll be all right. dirt on your hands. I'm your father. I ought to be able to do something for you, shouldn't I? Come on. Sure. Words are all alike, George. What you make about they all mean the same thing. What's that? I mean, uh, what about me? You know, that's all. You understand? That's all it is, just some me. What kind of trouble are you in? Just on the loose. Loosey goosey. Right. You know what you find when you're on the loose, don't you, George? Uh-uh. You don't know that? <laughs> I'm gonna spoil it for you. <laughs> I'll drink a Pepsi, please. How's your mom, George? She's fine. She rode by here tonight. She didn't say where she was going, did she? Nope, 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 did not. I got to piss so bad I could cry. You forget something? 
Yeah, I forgot to stay out of town. Where'd you and Clark go? Oh, we had a wonderful time. You wouldn't believe the places we went or the things. Great Falls, Montana, that's a nice place. I'm glad I got to see that. I'll have a coffee, please. Do you see a Pontiac car tap driving through town? Can't say I've been paying much attention to passing cars lately. Where are you guys going? I'm riding the bus in the morning, I guess. Oh, looks like what's his name's old man had an engagement he forgot about. Is this place open all night, I hope. It closes when the midnight yard crew gets out. Lucky me. Why don't you take me home with you? I don't think you'd be very comfortable. You wouldn't be, you mean. Where are you going on the bus? Casper, Wyoming. Where Artie should have been two days ago if I was worth anything. Which, apparently, I'm not. What's down there? My brother's in jail down there. That sounds nice. Doesn't it, though? We're all very happy for him. <laughs> I got an aunt, Casper. My mother's sister. That's just great. Maybe I'll see her when I'm there. You got any messages for her? You want me to drive you down there? Uh-huh. I'm serious. How far is it? Couldn't be that far. I don't have to work tomorrow. You pay for gas. Well, I've got money. <laughs> this young lady's riding the old blue dog tonight. She got a date with fate in the great state of Wyoming. I'm driving her down there. How long was I gone? But as long as your attention span. I don't have anything to wait on. I'm going to. You guys wait in my mom's car. I gotta go over here and leave a note for somebody. Who's that for? Your wife? I'm fine, but I'm just going to take a drive to Wyoming. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. He said that once. And I will be home pretty soon. I will not drop any weight. You worried about losing weight? <laughs> Give it to me. Let's see what this old lady's got back here. Here's a fishing rod. Uh-oh. Here's a six-pack. Pair of blue jeans. Why don't you leave that stuff alone, Claude? <laughs> Ooh, here's some lipstick. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to guess what else is back here. <laughs> Where's your mom now? Where's she supposed to be? That's must be where she is. What's that thing? It's a thing the dentist gives you to make you keep your mouth open. Are we gonna drive or are we gonna sit here and hallucinate? I'm going out of here. What does your father do in the railroad? Brakeman. What does your old man do? Farmer. He's an American. He left to avoid the draft and got very lucky to marry my mother. They got everything through inheritance from her family. Not that they're rolling in it, no. They're conservatives now, of course. What were you doing with Sherman? The chief? Yeah. He's a long story. That's left. The chief, he's not so bad. You certainly wouldn't think he'd sit in the dark in the middle of the night and pray in a motel, would you? But he does. I laid there and listened to him. Where is this, Chicago? 
I'm probably going the wrong way. I should be driving. I'd like to take a bath, and I can't do it in a washroom sink. It must be dirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's the fun out here? That must be a well-kept secret. You are. You're a reward for being able to put up with you. Good luck with that party. You'd do better alone, wouldn't you? Well, being with you is like being alone. <laughs> You got to look real close if you want to see anything. Uh, uh. Have a good look. I've got a brother, remember? Which way's north? I like to stay oriented. You got a clothespin on your tongue? Do you think your parents ever lied to you? Why? Did they lie to you? Not that I know of. I hope my life's on I wouldn't want to know all this shit they know, would you? Sure, I want to know it. Ah. I think I'll have a warm beer. <laughs> He's a fool, you know? He's not a fool. He's smart. You just wouldn't want to be him. He wouldn't want to be you either. Check it out. Check it out, man. Okay. I'm too hard on him. He's your buddy. That's right. That's right. Whoa, whoa. And I don't mind for the lonely out here. But I don't know why I think I've got time to just lie here like this. That's your business, I guess. I got you now. Do you have a girlfriend? No. Then tell me what you've done that's shameful. You already know something about me, even though I've done worse. <laughs> Nothing. I haven't done anything. Fine. That's shameful. You're not ashamed of anything, I guess. Yes, I am. I'm ashamed of leaving home without saying anything to anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm ashamed to spend that night with Sherman in that motel. That's just two days of things. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! <laughs> My mother took off recently and I was glad about it. I'm ashamed of that. That's a shameful lie, right there. She's probably happy anyway. Come here! You gotta see it! Why don't you just kiss me, just for a minute? I don't care. Let him see us. Just kiss me back. Like that, I like that. You're both drunk! You're both fuck drunk! Don't act jealously. Come look at this fish. It's a real big fish. Let's see his poor fish. Then maybe we can get out of here. <laughs> You're lively. It's a real big fish. It's probably good to eat. What a surprise that must be for the fish. Everything just goes crazy at once. <laughs> I wonder what it thinks. Fish don't think. <laughs> oh, son of a bitch thing. Fucking fish is dangerous. What is that, the Indian way of fishing? Okay. It's your fish. You do something with it. I don't want the fucking thing. Okay. Let me have that knife. You might kill me if I give it to you, huh? I'm gonna put this poor fish out of its misery. Okay. You do it. <clears throat> there you go. You want me to be ashamed of that, too? <laughs> no. I'll bet you'd do anything, huh? Why, you'd fuck a pig in knickers, I'll bet, huh? You Canada girls. I do commit the wrong sins, sometimes. What do you think you're good for, huh? Everybody thinks they're good for something. Or are you just good for nothing? 
You boys all seem alike to me. Don't act that, that way. Hey, I don't think that's necessary now. This is what I want. No. Oh. No. Claude, I'm going to take you back to town. You can catch the bus. Let's stop this. Get in the car. It's all right. I got some money. I'll buy you a ticket. Fuck you. Okay? Just fuck you guys. You boys. I love you boys. You're so wonderful. I wonder what he's thinking about now. Who's this? Your whole family featuring you as a kid? This is right after my dad got out of the Air Force. He wanted to be a jet mechanic. But he didn't do that. He went to work at BN, switching. What are your plans for a bright future? Well, I'd like to go to college. I'd like to join the boxing team. If there is such a thing as a boxing team. Oh, it's back that way, isn't it? Yeah. It is. <laughs> Casper, the friendly Wyoming. brother said it was nicer than this. Maybe it grows on you if you're here longer than I plan to be. What would you do for amusement? Beat people up, steal things. The usual. Oh, I understand that's a privilege and not a right. Yeah, I am Canadian, that's right. Fuck you! It is not an easy matter to have your brother in jail. You cannot talk to him. That's what they have in mind, right? Besides, you haven't been in that much of a hurry till now. Oh, I know it. Where are you staying? I got an aunt in town. Oh, yeah. Some place. You can afford this place? Oh, I've been saving my money. I'm where I'm going anyway. You're lucky. Well, you can stay with me tonight. Till you figure it out. Only 
many times have you been in a motel room by the girls? Not many times. Offering consignments from top quality Angus. Not any times. This is a big deal for you then, isn't it? Too bad I can't be with somebody you're in love with. Not that that makes any difference to men or boys, whichever you are. Doesn't make any difference to me. You probably are in love with me, aren't you? <laughs> no. Not. Good. That's very smart. Up to you. Money my own business. Is that safe around here? Yeah, you looking for a job? Pay a lot of money, yes or no? No. You a farm boy? No. Well, you could have fooled me. Are you sure you don't want a job? Because I got a job. Yeah, sure. All right. Hi, Judy, it's George. Aileen's son. Oh, Jesus Christ, it is not. I kind of thought it'd come by. But you're just a little bitty boy. You can't be this immense and handsome. Oh, well, come on in, Harley. Harley, I don't want you to get up out of that wheelchair or anything, but guess who is here? It's George. Remember George? Sister's only baby, and look at him. Look, this is what he's turned out to be, right here. All right. Well, how you doing? Good. Oh, you are up there, ain't you? You are way up down. <laughs> up in the clouds. <laughs> Why don't you just sit right down there and eat with us? Hey, come here, George. I got something I want to show you. Harley, for goodness sakes, let him just sit. Right. Civil engineer, did you know that? Yeah, I knew that. We met once. You did. I don't remember. I met Judy right down there on Wyoming Street in town. It was two days after I got out of the US Army. <laughs> I came out here to get rich. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I can do with this instrument? Sure. I can part some cowboy's hair for him in a different spot. Long distance. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Why not? 
but they put me in this chair. How do you think I got in this chair? I'm standing down underneath the rig. Somebody opens up his lunch bucket, drops an orange straight down on my head. They broke me all up to pieces. And one of these days, they're going to come up here to finish the job. And that's why I'll be sitting here, waiting for my answer. Do you really think they'll come up here right to your house? <laughs> Sure, they'll come up here. They have on white sheets. They'll come right through that front door. Boom! That's what I'll have to say to those motherfuckers. Boom! <laughs> How? Yeah, that'd be great. That will be great. Yeah? Won't that be great? See, I gotta. I got a sense of personal mission in this. <laughs> I have suffered a loss. And somebody got to pay for that. I guess that's true. Yeah. That's true. It's true as that I'm sitting here. I sure am sitting here. school yet, are you? No, yeah, I finished from summer school. How old are you? 18. Are you? Mm -hmm. I don't think you're that old. <sighs> Must have blinked. <sighs> Families don't do what they used to do. Draw you together. We used to have holidays, you know, before Harley's accident, when you were little. You haven't heard from my mom, have you? I thought maybe she might have called you. I thought she might even come down here. Where was she going? Well, her and my dad had kind of a blow up. What kind of blow up? I don't know about it exactly. They just got mad. She left. Who was it with? Nobody. She just left, that's all. No, no, no. Nobody just leaves. Not my experience. You leave by yourself and that's where you're gonna be. And nobody wants to be in that place, I'll tell you that right now. Well, that's what she did anyway. You may not know everything about everything. I know enough. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> she wouldn't come here anyway. Why not? Why not? Because she likes me too much, that's why not. Carl. Oh, no, even in this cripple's chair, she couldn't resist me. There's ways around everything. Carl, now don't say that. That's not true. It's not true, George. Aileen never did anything like that. Mm. It's his mother, for God's sake. Don't lie about her. I'm not lying about her. Yeah, you are. You're lying about her. You're full of shit, in fact. She wouldn't have anything to do with you in a million years. Why not? Why don't you think she would? Is there something wrong with me? No, nothing's wrong with you. You're married to her sister, that's all. Why? She wouldn't do something like that. Oh, they never do that, do they? I mean, that's what they never, ever do. I mean, they never like the wrong guy.
Was she by herself? I'm her sister, I'd forgive her if she wasn't. No, she wasn't. Dad made her leave, though. He pushes things out too far sometimes. Are you calling yourself looking for? Is that what you're doing here, hon? I guess so. I don't know. Do you always know what you're doing when you're doing it? Not always. That's right. Oh, we're not real close anymore. But she might call up. You do strange things. Everybody does. I've run off before. Four times. But I came back. I really come looking for you? Couldn't very well. He can't do much in his chair. He just had to wait till I showed up. I didn't mind that. Well, I guess you're a man now, Georgie. It's sad, isn't it? Oh, there's so many new things to think about. Maybe it might. Or it won't. You'll survive. I think you can get somebody out of jail. I've got a plan to do it. Let's hear about it. Okay. Let's say this is true. The way to get out of trouble is find someone with the worst trouble and get them to help you. That's not true about women. Oh, what's true about women in the words of the great expert? My father said don't ever get hooked up with a woman who's in worse trouble than you are. What are you doing with a woman anyway, huh? I hope you don't mind. I went down on your friend. Klaus, Clark, whatever. I just had too many troubles to help myself, you know? Yeah. Well, whatever floats your boat. Oh, well, it's going mine. It floated his right to the top, I guarantee. Hey, you want to fight? No, I'm sure you don't. Hey, Butch. Right back, George. Let me borrow your phone for a second. Thanks. What's your last name? George, what? Mm-hmm. Oh, George, no lead in his pencil. Well, we'll make you an Indian again. You couldn't pour piss out of a boot. Why don't you go win hundred dollars, get out of my life? It won't cost me that much. Mm -hmm.
Since when does watching me get to be so interesting? I wasn't watching you. I was looking at you and thinking about something else. People must do that to you a lot. I just got my ass kicked and I don't like it. I was just thinking about that. That's what my mother is. A kick ass. Isn't that funny? No. That's because you don't think it's funny. So, what? Your mom and your dad had a big bus step, huh? What'd she do? Dad, she was in the house with some phony. My dad came home, so he threw her up. I guess she was screwing him. What's your dad doing about it? I don't know. Nothing, maybe. You gonna bring them back together again? Be a little Cupid. Right. Bullshit. Bull period. Shit period. Well, no, then. Is that better? You're out is where you are. Simplified. Okay, I left town with you. If you got a better idea if you do, tell me, because I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I can't leave you to your brother. I don't mind. No. Don't do that. You don't have to do that. I'd rather have you in here. It's nicer. You can protect my interests. Huh? What interests? I got a lot of money with me. How much? Six thousand dollars. American money. Where is it? It's on this mattress I'm laying on right now. Let me show it to you. Yeah. I trust you. Where'd you get it? My pop. He hoards shit, money, things like that, in his boxes. He can't use the banks because he's an American fugitive. So, I borrowed some. Someday I'll give it back. Maybe. Boy, that Indian could fight. I could not whip him. I know you couldn't. You didn't whip him. Surely you would have if you could have. I couldn't whip him if, if we had a hundred fights and I got better every time. Sometimes you can't win. You can't believe it. You can't see yourself losing. I mean, you're a winner when you think about it. And you got to get used to losing. Tell me something I might not know. I wish I could. I'd like that. Operator. I'd like to make a collect call, please, to my dad, Jack. Your name, please? George. Thank you, George. There's no answer. Would you like to place your call later? No, thanks. What did your brother do? Stole some trucks full of oil and got caught at it. And where am I taking you? 1790 Madeira. That's where I have to see the guys, the guys I have to pay. What guys? These guys who stole all the oil with Johnny. They're still out and they're ready to testify against him. Save their little asses. What does your father think about you taking all that money, huh? Uh, saves him from having to do this anyway. He's not exactly equipped for adventure. I guess you love your brother. Yep, I love him. Probably marry him if he wasn't your brother, right? I never thought of that. 
Why would anyone think of that? <laughs> Are you going to all this trouble? I'd be in trouble somewhere. I just do irrational things, stay awake. Okay. I can probably do this myself. Thank you. I'll help you. Johnny, I don't know him. He's my brother. Lucky him. Maybe you could help me find somebody named Bob. Bob? Bob. I'm Bob. Are you? How may I serve you? I have to get Johnny out of jail. I want to pay you to leave town. If you leave, nobody be here to testify against him. So are you saw naked pictures of yourself or him or what? I've got money. What's that? Come on inside. Company. Come in up to our uh, family room. It's cozy up here. Okay, okay, you want some coffee or decaf, uh, orange juice, orange juice in the blender, you know. Hey, I'd like, um, I'd like a mimosa. <laughs> All we have is the good champagne. These are my business partners. I like good champagne. Hi there. Hi. Wait a minute. That is not an American word. <laughs> F-I-L-I-P. That's not how you spell that. Look it up. I will look it up. It's a Scrabble game. <laughs> Isn't this a nice house? <laughs> you want to stop? No. So, what do you do desperate characters get the offer? I've got money. I don't have it with me, though, of course. Spill it. <laughs> if I had the letters, I would. Well, where is it? It's hit out. I mean, is it in a bank or traveler's checks, postal money orders, stamps, or what the fuck? I've got it. You've got it? How much? $6,000. That's a lot. Why would I give a shit? I don't know. Maybe you want to get out of here. You want to get out of here, Art? Sure. I just don't want you to go to court against my brother, that's all. <laughs> What's your name, amigo? George? How do you feel about this, George? Good, I feel. Good. I'm glad to hear it. Why? Hmm? Why should I testify against anybody? <laughs> they haven't done anything. Nobody's looking for me. Why should we trust you for a goddamn minute? <laughs> Maybe I should just blow your fucking heads off, huh? Why not? Put you out of my misery. Or maybe I just just blow my fucking brain out. <laughs> you know, maybe then I can think clear. Huh? You don't have to trust anybody. How can that possibly be? Doesn't the whole world work on trust? You get out first, I'll get you the rest right after. 
Don't. No. Don't cause me any anxiety. Okay. Good. Because how am I gonna get it? Are you gonna mail it to me? What's my address? Yo, back to fuck. I'll mail it. You just tell me where to. Isn't that a trust of sorts? I'll do it. You could have first, I promise. You promise? I trust her. Well, you're trusting. Look at who you're married to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Where are you two sleeping? Hmm? Where? At the Lazy KT Motel. Right on the main track. Okay, I'll tell you what. You be there at the night at 8 o'clock. If I'm in the neighborhood, maybe we can conduct some business. If not, maybe I'll blow you off. How's that sound? Sounds fine. Fine. Is that fine? That's what you wanted, wasn't it? Yes. Good. You too, Judge? Sure. Are you two going to play a trick on me? Are you going to ruin Bob's day? No. Then get the hell out of here. I got to call somebody. I got to call my travel agent, OK? Nina, you know, could you show them out? OK. Mm. You kids are not dressed for the weather. Not a coat, I give it to you. It's supposed to rain like sheets. Maybe I just ought to give it all to him right away. Bob might have a hard time getting into it, get pissed off. Yeah, go cool with the deal. You get the other 3,000 when you send in the key. That way, if your brother doesn't get like you're supposed to, you're not worked out. How'd you get so smart? I'll show you something else, too. Three's got the money. Forty-one's got air. Yeah. No, no, you keep the real one. Well, I don't trust myself for some reason. Well, I got the chase just off, son. You can deal with this better than I can. You hope. important to me. Mm. I might need you for something. I don't pass up on beer. Oh, you're a tough guy. Mm. You're a tough guy. Let me drink out of it.
my kids. You ready to go? I'm ready. Where's Bob? Oh, we're going to drive you there to meet him. He's waiting for us. George is coming with us. Well, that wasn't the plan, huh? That, that wouldn't be a very good idea tonight. No deal, then. I need him. Okay, then. But hurry up. We don't want to take all night. Where's Bob? We're going to see Bob now. Naya, are you two related? No. I thought maybe you were. You sort of, sort of favor each other. Don't you think? Yeah. Mm. Where are you from? Montana. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice place to raise a family, I think. Everything's so, so simple up there. You can, you can see everything so clear up there is how I'd imagine it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Art and I have been married four years. <laughs> Though we lived together for a time before that. What, about a year, hun? I got two kids from another marriage, too. They live in San Antonio, Texas, which is a city of... City of Canals. <laughs> you know, I'd have another kid too if I, if I thought that Art wanted one. I would do it. Why not? Kids are great. Mm. Art and I are probably old enough to be used to his parents. <laughs> <laughs> Art's probably old enough to be one of my parents. <laughs> what line of business are you in? Insurance. I used to work for a company that, that insured oil wells. The oil business. What's out here? Just a well site. Nothing important. What do you like to do, son? Box. So you can protect yourself pretty good? Yeah, I can take care of myself, yeah. Can you... Protect yourself against one of these? <laughs> that can clear the room of assholes. I, I don't see why we need guns. This is not a gun thing. Don't you worry, sweetheart. It's all right. Art always carries a gun. He take gun to the grocery. <laughs> Bob out here. He's always late. Okay, come on out, little Miss Pris. Come on. You too, son. wanted Nina and him to take your money and leave me in the, in the house in a condition that wouldn't make me happy. I was part of the accident. She's not that tight. Nina loves me. So, here he is. Here's Bob. <gasps> what am I supposed to do? Take him out and drag him over to the oil cap, which isn't on, and cap the well with Bob. It'll be easy. You, you can help, too. Oh, you don't have to if you don't want to, hon. He can do it. Art got him in there, for heaven's the boards. They're not nailed down. It'll keep them warm. It's 
blow his shit out of you. That's enough. Don't give me any lips. What is this shit? God, Art, don't hit her. You think this is some fucking cowboy movie? Huh? I'll kill you dead as shit. I was Miss Frizz. Yeah, you take, you take that Kleenex and wipe your blood off there. Put him in right, Jesus. Ah, uh, all right. I want the goddamn money, and I want it right now. You get the money. You get the money. You get the money. Yeah. 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 Huh? I know there's more than that. I want all of it. That wasn't the deal. There isn't any deal. The deal's in a hole over there. We, we're supposed to tell you when Johnny got out of jail. He ain't getting out. He killed this pipe fitter out in the Drona. He hates goddamn pipe fitters. He ain't getting out. I guess he forgot to tell you to. He did. Yeah. He stabbed this guy with a screwdriver. I seen him do it. Okay, I want the rest of the money, sweetheart. A lot of dead people out here. No one's gonna notice you two. Give the key. Give him the key. You have a key? Huh? Yeah. What the hell is that? Your locker room key? Is that the key to your locker? He did not. No. Uh, no, it's in the bus station. I don't want to go there. I've been in too many bus stations. You want, you want the rest of the money? I just hate bus stations. Just get the cuffs out of the glove box, Nina, huh? Okay, over there. What? Go. What? Over here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh. Is that too tight, huh? I want to cut off the circulation. You hit her too hard, Art. She's shivering. I can't believe you tried to hit me with that plank. What? If I don't find the money in the box, I'm coming out here by myself, kid. If I do, maybe maybe something nice will happen for you. You kids will be okay here. I just don't think we should leave them out here exposed like that. Don't you? No, no. I think we should take them with us. Oh. You want me to leave you here with them? No, I don't want that, no. <laughs> but then just catch a ride with me. <laughs> Can you climb through on your side? Um, huh? No, huh? I can't. It's all right. Oh. Fuck it then! Oh. 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 I'm so cold now. I'm frozen. Here, fold your oh. hand in. Fold your hand in. Oh. Listen, are you okay? Mm -hmm. Huh? I need to start a fire. No, just burn us up. There. Ah. Oh. I wanted to tell you, I did not go down on your friend, Claus or Lard, I guess. I didn't believe that anyway. He, he did ask me to marry him. Well, I can see you married to somebody. Who do? You? No. Not me. Somebody else. Okay. Okay. I'm so cold. Nourishing. I'm so cold. Oh, I feel weak. Like 
This one's cold. You've had a time, haven't you? Yeah, I did. So tell me what's on your mind. What are you going to do about her brother? Don't think about that boy now. He's in another world from you. Tell me what else you got on your mind. Oh, guess I'll go home. Hello? Done enough damage, you figure? Had enough fun? I've done enough. Couldn't stand to have more fun, could you? That's right. What else? Well, then, let it rip, I guess, son. In the event we locate Mr. Falcone and Miss Bennett, how easy is it to find you to get you to testify? Sounds easy, man. There's a lady outside to give you a ride. I never reached your dad. He's probably working. He probably is. But you ought to go home. You could go in the wrong direction pretty easily now. It might not seem like it. It doesn't exactly seem like it. I haven't wanted to ask you a whole lot of questions about everything you may have noticed. You could have called me a lot quicker, though. I could have gotten you out of juvenile home. I'm your next of kin. Oh, that poor girl, though. I'd like to ask you about, you know, how you got with her and... That other man, that man in the hole, and those other two people, how you got with them? You could have gotten killed. I guess so. You wouldn't have been the first. Luck, I guess. Not luck I'd want. Bad luck. I heard from your mother. Where is she? She called from down in Rock Springs. I don't know the particular. She wanted me to uh, wire her some money, which I did. She wants to see you. I don't know what to tell you, George. She's your mother. You know, I don't want to go home now. I just think I'll stay sitting here and you go on. I'll call somebody. Carl's nuts today. <laughs> Oh, I may have to leave myself pretty soon. I can't always take it, even though I love him. It's catching, isn't it? Bus number 14, westbound, Boise, Fort Lane, Spokane, and Seattle. When's your next bus to San Francisco? Uh, 10 o'clock tonight. How about north? North, like Canada. 
No, to Montana. Great Falls? Billings, Bozeman, Butte, Helena, Great Falls, 528. Okay, Great Falls. place particularly good today. Sometimes I do. You remember me from Montel? You ever find any work? I wasn't looking for work. Where are you going? Home. Where's home? Bro, do you Montana? What do you do there? I live there. Huh? Are you broke? Huh. You look broke. Looks like that. You still passing out jobs on the street? Oh, you decide you want to earn a lot of money, huh? Doing what? Working. Yeah. That's <laughs> the only way I know how to earn it. Let you steal it. Working doing what? Working in oil fields up in Gillette. Roughneck work. Where's that at? Well, it's a long ways from here, I'll tell you. Half a day by car. In 20 years you take the bus. Now, how do I get up there? Well, I'll take it. I don't know anything about that kind of work. Well, no, I think you'd just have to learn. Wouldn't you ever learn anything before? <sighs> yeah. You get along with your daddy okay? I mean, your business. Your folks broken up? No, they're not broken up. They, they're at home. I mean, what is in your hand here? Nothing. It works fine. I'll take that job if you got one. I can work. I don't know. Come on over here with me. Where? Come on, come on. What for? Look, don't worry, I'll show you. What is it? What in the hell is the matter with you, are you afraid? No. Yeah, I always look forward to a decent meal when I come to town. <laughs> uh, There's one place that I really like. It's Enrique's. Whoa. Yeah. I'll tell you something, I really like that Italian food. Lasagna, vermicelli, umar salad. All right, son. job otherwise that's how it works fuck you how's that work six hundred dollars a week you up for that no uh -uh. <laughs> eight hundred okay <laughs> You got it. Look, uh, you're broke, right? Sure. Okay, here. Take this and don't gamble it away. Save it for college. 
I don't gamble. <laughs> you just started. Hop in the back. Oh, my name is Billy, Billy Adams. George. George. I tell you, I can't find any trustworthy help anymore. You farm boys, you know how to work. I'm not a farm boy. Kids. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be a kid anymore. 